His first public statement is on the Patrick Beverly okay. podcast. Right. He hadn't signed during the golf event, gotcha. so he couldn't theoretically yeah. talk about it. So he's going to talk. Okay, fine. Get, hey, contract extension. Let's go on a. Uh, let's go on Pat Bev's podcast. Yeah. And what does he say? He says, you know, he said Jordan I'm just Poole going said, around hitting people. Jordan Poole said something that crossed the line, and I knocked him out essentially. You know, and he he didn't stand on it. I stand on it. Okay. Do Warrior fans, do you believe, do you really believe that the problems from last year, whatever they were, they're gone? They're going to, they're, they're, they're over? Do you believe that the Golden State Warriors will not have issues this upcoming year? And look, I can't define an issue. But you know it when you see it. Is a problem really gone? Is Jordan Poole leaving the be-all and end-all, and this thing is going to just smooth sail? I, go ahead, I go believe ahead. no. And I because there's no, no longer any smooth sailing okay. with Draymond Green. No doubt about That's it. That's the way I feel right. right now. And I just win a Rubik's Cube, NBA Rubik's Cube, Again, I don't. I've, I've asked you this, Donnie. The Kaminga aspect and component of this, how they're going to mesh the Chris Paul, Draymond Green, uh, Chris Paul, just with all the teammates, and what you just said. I mean, you coaching. We can laugh that off and say that was funny, but to me, that was a, that was already a glimpse of something that can grow. So I'm looking at you because my ass. Who I gotta be careful here. My ass was buried in the sun. All of last year, in the, sand. With the in the in the sand, <laughs> worried about this road record, but I never once thought it might be because lack of connection. So that will not happen to your buddy this year. So when you ask me that question, and I think of Looney saying that Dre has to re-earn the trust, we don't know if Looney said he's done that. Then Dre exactly. says we would still be playing had I not punched him, but I got my voice back. So there's so many mixed messages, yep. but 98% coming from the guy that a lot of the times is kicking up the dust. And nobody now is there to be a not a policeman, but a policeman in a locker room where it's sacred and just say, you know what, Dre, slow it, take a play off. So I don't think they have that person. And what bothers me to my core as I pass it back to you, and I'm a big fan, I was if Jordan Poole is, now all we've heard about is warrior culture. But Anybody can have a culture when you don't need it and you're winning and it's a party and everybody's got alcohol and money and music's playing. But what about when you need something and you need that somebody to call or try to correct your comrade? I feel like now they don't have that and they have agendas. I, I, and I'm nervous. I don't know about they at this point. I mean, Clay's going to be coming up on a contract year. That is what it is. Um, but my question to Warrior fans is, are you, what are you more concerned about? The actual team and strengths and weaknesses like shooting and size and do they have enough defense? Or is your biggest concern That's, a oh. repeat of last year <sighs> off the court? Mm. Like, is it... I, I, I don't like I don't think it's be? out of the Call realm us. of possibility Tell that us. Draymond Green is going to mess this thing up. And let me tell you something. All we need is one report. What one you report oh, wow. of from Sham Sharania or Adrian Rojnarowski. All we need is one report that says Steph's getting tired of it. Oh, then I'll have one well, report that Steph is getting tired of it, and this thing is over. And you know what? How could you not start to be getting tired of it at the very well? Least? Before this popped off, you're on record, Stoney. You ain't the only one saying you think the championship days are over. I do, and so this, this is this just is never, this is fueling wow, okay. it more. All right. Because I get it that people that the I games are won yeah. and lost on the court. But I am a huge believer 
in that no team has ever won a championship when they're not together. You have to be together. Doesn't mean you won't have obstacles to overcome. But, like, last year, like, I look back now at last year, and it's basically been proven. There was no way they were winning it last year. Well, I was in denial. No chance. So my question is, why would they win it this year? Because the only way they can win it this year is if Jordan Poole with 100% of the problem. And that all the other stuff is Stiney, wiped away. Which could be, we could be wrong. We could be. We could be wrong. We could be. I don't think I am, though. 888-957-9570 is the number. And uh, the boss was uh, talking to the boss. One of the things he, he he's like, what if you got a minute with Draymond Green? Yeah, you bumped into him at the grocery store and you could you could say something to Draymond. Hey, Dre, what's going on? Hey, he said, hey man, listen. What are you doing? Man. What would you say to Draymond Green? And then the other question I have is seriously, what what are you more concerned about heading into uh heading into next season? On the court or off the court? That, what man. if if something is going to get this team beat next year? Is it going to be a deficiency on the court? Or is it going to be because of something like what happened last year? Are the problems done now that Jordan Poole is gone? You, Larry- you got to prove that to me. You have to prove it to me. And I know I'm, I don't mean it like me. I'm Matt Steinmetz. I mean, you got to prove it. You got to prove that, that, that you can get your chemistry back. You know what? You- and it's, and, I'm sorry, Goo. No, take but, your time. But, but don't think for a minute... I, I don't think for a minute that this is over. They still have, you know, Draymond's got to Draymond's got to deal with Wiggins. Draymond's got to deal with Looney. Kaminga. Draymond's got to deal with Kaminga. Thank you, Goo. And Thank himself. You. Exactly. Now you were golfing, and I was watching uh, the summer league because I'm, you know, I All love right. it. So the great Mark Jones and Doris Burke were having a conversation. Okay, and they were joined by Larry Harris. Mm -hmm. I'm sitting up there in my world, in my lab, thinking, okay, they're just chopping it up, the three of them. But Larry Harris told the world and anybody who was watching that game that the sacred locker room for the Golden State Warriors was fractured. And the, the emphasis that he had on fracture, and it was undeniable, Steiny, I can't tell you it hit me like the Holy Ghost. Like, oh my gosh, I may be the only one, but it wasn't just me. I may be the only one that was in denial. So if that were if it were fractured and it couldn't get rectified, you're telling me now you sent the 23-year-old to DC, everything's good. I don't buy that. I, don't I think Chris Paul is is a warrior. He's te- you coaching? That's a sign of something that might possibly go wrong. This this is crazy. I'm going Rick Barry. Stani, this is crazy. I don't like it. And hopefully they prove me wrong. But man. Let me and 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 I want to throw this out all also at Warrior fans. Because I'm putting myself in Lacob, Dunleavy, and uh uh Steve Kerr's position. Because I think most, I think, well, I shouldn't say that. I think some Warrior fans think they don't care. Mike Dunleavy and Joe Lacob and Steve Kerr don't care. This doesn't matter. They don't care. Well, I disagree. I disagree. I think there was absolutely positively conversation at Chase Center yesterday about what is this guy doing? Why is he doing it? Why does he do it right after he signed the contract? What's the point of it? This guy's driving us crazy. You know, it's like, don't. But no, they I know this is going to have Stanley, ramifications. I, I think you're wrong. You do. Because what's worse is if you're right and there's no, hey, Dre, take a playoff, which we would never know. He told you the whole conversation he had to Kevin Durant about Myers and Kerr and that, and he went public with it, I, which I wouldn't have done just for the people that were involved in how they would look. So if nothing popped off then, nothing's going to pop off now. But I want to ask – all the YouTubers and you, Steiny, the fact that he's got his new deal, do you think, not not bulletproof, but do yes. you think now this is going to be more? Of like, course. I'm, he just I'm showed made. it. He just I showed it. Don't he call him up? Paulie, Sp- the, the, the Sopranos. I'm a made dude. I get it. But how can you not think about what comes out of your mouth, how it'll make your brethren look? 
That's that's who he I am. Care. See, Do, yeah. well, he, how can he care? And a good teammate's going to care. So you, yeah. Oh, by the way, in the Patrick Beverly podcast, we should all be grateful too to Draymond. Oh, no, he, I, he said that he had an offer for ten million dollars more per year. So that would be thirty-five million a year from another team, but he didn't take it because he's loyal. Turned down thirty-five million a year. So I told Goo, Guru's coming in today. He walks into the green room, I and I said, "Hey, uh, Goo, did you see Draymond Green turn down apparently thirty-five million a year from some team, ten million more than he got with the Warriors?" And Guru goes, "Oh, Steady, that hurt my heart. Not that you had the offer, but who asked?" So now you're telling Dub Nation, hey, I bet he don't even think this way, Stani. I did you a solid by coming back. Some stuff don't need to be announced. When you well, do I know stuff why he for charity, it. he wants or everybody you do to think because a good deed, you know. that take the picture, smile. Like that's what that was. Why do why can't Woj just report Draymond turned? But sometimes, but Stani, I'm just saying, man, I got friends and family. You do stuff for the fame. You do stuff for the credit of it. But what was that? He did the Warriors a favor, and they're fans. Yeah, see. Draymond Green did us all a favor. He wants everybody to know he took a lowball contract. And there was interest. Like, we didn't know there was interest, man. You know what? You said something interesting. Like, let's say, and so we talked a lot about Draymond Green yesterday, and a lot of it was critical. There's no doubt. A lot of it was negative. You said you don't think he cares. You said he could care less. Right. It's you the th- little you think Richard that's true? thing. Yes. Well then, why? I, I I don't necessarily disagree with you. But then why does why does he attack everybody who attacks him on Twitter? He must care some, right? I'm gonna say it's fun. It's activity. Okay. Kevin Durant does it. He, he might do it with uh, a smile. You do on it, his face. Uh, but you're saying you're not doing it. I do it, but I never concoct something. I mean, Stani, I'm telling you, man, Draymond Green, he's his own brand, and he'll never be bigger than the Warriors. But sometimes I'm just starting to wonder with this podcast: Is he playing for the team in the front? Or the name on the front or the name on the back. And right now, the scoreboard to me looks like the name on the back, but the team on the, the name on the front got me paid. And how could Curry... I, like, okay, so this I is exactly what I'm talking about. Our guy Austin cannot believe these guys are making a living denigrating the Dubs championship core. And it's the Dubs flagship station. Are you that close to Lake of Stein? Was it? What? What? Oh, oh, you know what? Yeah. I love what Draymond did. Oh, I love that he punched Jordan Poole. I love the way the organization handled it, Austin. Yeah, Jordan deserved Let me tell you what else I loved. I love Draymond coming on a podcast with Pat Beverly and saying, Jordan Poole deserved what was coming. I love it all, man. I love it. Come on, Joe Austin. Lacob, don't change a thing. Come on, Austin. Don't You're better change than a that. thing. See, like, Lacob's not as naive as the fans to think, they deserve nothing but praise all the time. Like, Lacob's even smarter than that. So, anyway, I know Austin. You know, Austin does that, and I, I, I like Austin. I, I, he knows I, how I to. I like everybody. But, but, honestly, Austin, I'm dead serious. Like, as the flagship station, how, how do you spin this positive? Let's say, let's say I'm a homer. I'm Matt Stein. Yeah. I'm a homer. You know you lie. It's, it's a, <laughs> that, that's already an oddity. So I'm a, I'm a homer. Yeah. What? Like, how do you spin it positive? You, it's, it's, it's almost impossible to, isn't it? Yeah. You would say Jordan Poole said the magic word and he deserved right. to get punched. Right. He, they shipped him to Washington, and the Warriors are destined to the Western Conference Finals because that was all that ailed them. 